Alright guys, it is me back once again with another Infinite Warfare video and today I'm actually on to do something a little bit, a little bit weird, so basically I got, a, I, got a, I got a message from somebody saying that, you know, the 12 days of winter or something started up on Infinite Warfare, so I went on, but then people were telling me that it was basically just the worst thing ever, that it was just the biggest letdown since Call of Duty Ghosts. So basically, I wanted to go on and see what it was, and, you know, I was going to open the package, and obviously, I, I, if it is what people say, like, yeah, there <laughs> it is, the call, a uh, freaking calling card. I, I don't get it, really. They're, they're starting their campaign, I suppose, their Christmas noob campaign, trying to, like, get all the Christmas, like, new players starting to play and enjoy the game and stuff, and they start off with something so weak and so boring that nobody, nobody's going to care, like, I mean... No, who actually cares about the calling cards that people have? Yeah, it's it's a cool, you know, like, GIF calling card, which is what they've done with everything here. They've even taken the novelty out of that in Infinite Warfare. The novelty that was the Master calling cards in Black Ops 3, where, like, you got the normal ones, and then you got to the Master one, which was, like, an animated GIF. And it made it kind of, like, a bit of a novelty, because it was different to everything else. Whereas with this, you know, it's just, everything is the same now, and it's boring as it is. I mean, they could have given us a really cool new uh, weapon variant, a cool new camo or something for a gun, some really nice new, like, melee weapons, something that made it actually interesting. It just seems like they're putting all their, you know, effort and focus into Modern Warfare Remastered, which is going from strength to strength, which is like surpassing Infinite Warfare in terms of players and interest, and it's just, it's a little bit weird because, you know, it's their current game they're trying to flog, and they're really just using Modern Warfare to kind of get people to buy it, and nobody's actually playing Infinite Warfare for the game. Like, I mean, this was so weak, and this was just such a poor attempt at their, you know, like, their Christmas events, which they have every year where they do, like, double XP and, like, cool Christmas, like, challenges and stuff, but it's this this is just weak. This is just terrible. Like, they could have tried so much harder. They could have done so much more for this, but what did they do? They just, I don't even know. Like, they didn't even bother. Like, okay, let's, let's go try and find this now. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, this better be freaking amazing. String him up. That is... Fantastic. It, it, like, this is just amazing. Look at that. Look at how Christmassy and look at how, you know, amazing that is. That's so worth the Christmas event. I mean, they could have put in cool new weapons and weapon variants, you know, maybe some like K bar or NV4 camos, maybe a KBS longbow or, you know, an intervention camo or something. Or maybe a cool adding in extra classics or something, but no. No. They added in a freaking calling card. Ugh, could have done anything else. Anything. Ugh, I'm so done playing this game. I'm gonna go back to Black Ops 3. That was a real game. That was a game I actually enjoyed. I'll see you guys on Black Ops 3. As always, guys, I have been Hitman. I will see you in the next video, guys, which will most likely be Black Ops 3. But anyway, Hitman out.